Uh, video again. <clears throat> yeah. So, once again, we are here. Jeez. Don't know if it's... chocolate <laughs> there's sort of a chocolatey taste but like yeah sorry this video started off on a twist it just seemed very watery maybe it's because I left it too long anyway part three had the burgers which means we get two today uh, we get Jamaica with the chicken coming up later but first burger free of the beef range which is the Swiss stack so therefore we have a uh, interesting looking bun cross hatchings and all that that stuff is falling on the floor uh, I have a quick look at the uh, website it's confusing at the at certain cinemas Oh, it's, sorry, yeah, certain ones, I'm saying cinema because it's sort of near a cinema, the one, has sort of the updated screens, if you will, for ordering stuff. Everyone else doesn't, so it's like, huh? Right, so, uh, Swiss Stack, I want to know more about that, and the other one, which I've already said is Jamaica, so... There we go. So the Swiss stack is a potato, a potato lattice bun. Wait, the bun's made of potato. What? Emmental cheese and cheese sauce. That's why it looks a bit juicy. Uh, lettuce, strecky bacon, as you can see there, and some crispy onions. So not as much of a kick as we've had from the previous two. So. I guess that's positive. So, let's see what this is like. And there's not much to ooze out of it, you see. The cheese sauce is interesting. It's just got that new rich tastiness to it. It's weird, the melted cheese along with the sauce actually makes it really nice. I'm a fan of that a lot. It's not as... It feels girthy as a burger, but at the same time, at the same time, it doesn't feel like it's too overfilling. Maybe the cheese sauce sort of caters that because it's a milder cheese rather than some of the stronger cheeses that we've had over the past couple. Man, that is some weak hot chocolate. Mm. Again, I don't know if it's because I left it too long. It looks the right colour and everything. But yeah, really nice the Swiss stack. How that compares to last time, I'm not sure. Because that is a returnee. Um, as is the chicken. Uh, the Jamaican chicken. 
which is chicken select, so that's the, the regular thing. Uh, we have uh, a jerk bun. That is a jerk. You heard it here first. That is a jerk. Um, there's some jerk sauce in there as well. Uh, some mayonnaise, so it's going to have a little bit of kick, but also a little bit of savoury as well. Uh, a pepper jacks cheese slice. Ooh, that might be interesting. Uh, as you can see from this big bit that's hanging out, clearly onion. Uh, or red onion, I should say. Streaky Becker. And good old... Wow! The jerk sauce was a little bit on that onion. And that made the onion have even more of a bloody kick. Holy coop. I don't much of a... I have to, I'm going to go a fair bit of a way in to get to the cheese. Oh good, it's oozing over here. Ugh. I'll switch over to my face cam so I know that I'm in view. Yeah. Ooh. Completely the opposite. <laughs> Completely the opposite of the other one, as in it's got a hell of a kick. That jerk sauce, whoa, very, very spicy. If you're not into spicy stuff, I guess don't get this. The mayo's nice, um, but yeah, the, the sauce that's in it. Certainly is more of a traditional sort of jerk style sauce because it has a lot of like oomph to it. I never, I don't remember it being that kicky that's even a word um last time round whether that was last year or two years ago when they did this so I'm not sure oh shit load of flour on the bottom of the bum yeah I don't know why I was hoping that to be sort of like sugar or cocaine or something. God, that would be weird, wouldn't it? Suddenly all these burgers would be ordered like, it's like... <laughs> the sauce, though, is very kicky. If you're not a fan of spicy stuff, you might want to stick away. The bun itself doesn't taste jerk. Or oh, it's certainly not as spicy as the other one was. So, um. All in all, though, I am impressed. Another good burger. So, Italy is last up on the final video of this series. Which will be soon I'm recording this as the first day of these coming out I'm actually going to put this up within time so you can actually try some of these uh, the Swiss stack is only available for two weeks so until like um, November the 5th if you're in the UK uh, the chicken is on offer all the way through uh, to the 19th of November which I guess from that point we'll be switching over to Christmas stuff, which previously in previous history has been the big tasty uh, coming back over Christmas. 
Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you had sort of like festive sort of cheese things. Might be mozzarella sticks. I think that's what it was last year. Um, I don't know what it will be in terms of the McFlurry. I haven't done any of them yet. Because I do find it interesting now that they've gone from the sort of tub of McFlurry to the sort of all-in-one cardboard so it can be recycled McFlurry. So I guess we might be seeing that uh, soon as to what they do for the Christy Mass. Then again, Galaxy Salted Caramel is pretty tempting as well. We might see that on the next video just as a special. We'll see. All that and more probably here on the next video. So, thank you for watching. Again, apologies for the delays on the previous one. So, I'm saying they're good. Go try them when you can't anymore. It's always annoying with this stuff when uh, I get lazy. I'm being honest about that. I get lazy and not put it up like I should be doing. Um, so, uh, check out all the other content on here. AJ's movie reviews uh, and verses. Uh, awards predictions and things like that. Uh... Voices of Liberty stuff from Owen and uh, Sip and Snack. And uh, hopefully he'll regale us of tales from uh, Zombieland. Hopefully. And then me, Gaming with Ash. Um, other sort of snack stuff like this. Because the backlog is still there. Because, again, apparently I'm being lazy. Anyway. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, I will see you on the next video.